Hi guys, in this video I am going to tell you what are the universities I get the admissions from to study my undergraduate studies. So first of all you need to understand why I applied for as well as how I applied for, what are the steps you need to follow if you are willing to apply in those universities. So in this video we are going to discuss whole thing about that and if you are willing to apply for that, what are the steps you need to follow, wait and watch the full video so you will get a clear understanding about this and the main thing is actually we are posting this video under studies versus sorry school versus universities but the the reason why i'm doing this video in the english is it's very simple most of the students from worldwide will watch this i assume like that so that i'm doing this video in english if you have any doubts don't hesitate to put down in the comments Okay, let's move on to that. First of all, we are going to discuss some questions. So I have already prepared some questions and I'm going to tell that and I'm going to answer that too. So if you like to skip some of those parts, I have given the time duration in the description so you can always use that. Okay, let's start with the first question. So I have already told you about the universities i have get the admission sorry i have got the admissions from one of the best universities actually i get admissions from two universities they are located in singapore the first university is national university of singapore one of the best universities and the world rank of that university in the engineering field is eighth eighth university worldwide so the next university is NTU Nanyang Technological University. It's also located in Singapore and the thing is the global rank of that university for that engineering is 11th. Actually it might differ annually. So this, these are the records I have referring to the 2019 documents. I have searched for that in the Google. So if you like to search for that, I have given the, uh, you can easily search that in the Google. So you first up the uh, first university is National University of Singapore and the second one is Nanyang Technological University but both are located in Singapore. So these are the things about the universities actually when you are applying for the best universities one of the best universities it might be difficult to get into that. Okay so the next question is why I applied for what reason I applied for. So actually in the worldwide there are many exams let's say before you are entering to the universities actually you need to pass advanced level exams in your country so in our country sri lanka we are having sri lankan a levels so when you are considering about that once you finish your uh, a levels advanced level examinations you will be automatically get placement in state universities which are government universities in our country so the one of the best universities in sri lanka for engineering is university of Mortua but the world rank of that university is more than thousand if you like to find the world rank accurately i uh, you can easily search that also in the google so i have found that the world rank is uh, is very below than others that's the thing you need to consider about this rank so when you're considering about this university of mort sri lankan university it's the best university by but what the reason is it's behind all other universities worldwide universities the reason simple very simple is when you are considering about the ranking of the universities they might consider many uh, criteria so something called they will also always account how many foreign students they are studying in that university but in university of motor that's very less which means it's zero so these are the things will affect that ranking so these are the reasons and so when you are considering about the lab facilities it's lesser than other universities worldwide recognized universities it's very less than others so these are the reasons it's behind other universities that it's ranked behind other universities so i wish to apply for something uh, having a good rank the best rank in the worldwide so i have i have already planned to apply for the university of national university of singapore and as well as nanyang technological university and the rank of these universities are very much better so after that i found i was i searched some universities and i searched for some ranks and i found that there are many universities but they are in foreign so other than the singapore so something called 
you actually you already knew that the Cambridge University and so they are Harvard University so indeed when you are considering about these university actually it's very difficult to get scholarship from those universities as the reason very simply is when you are considering about the higher ranked universities the most of the students uh, very brilliant students around the world will uh, have a hope to apply for that university with paying them money so the universities won't easily give scholarships as there are many competitors competitors around the world to apply for that with the cash so that's the reason that there won't be many there won't be much scholarships awarding ceremonies in those universities the best ranked universities so i have planned to apply for national university of singapore actually the charges of those universities uh, as well as hostel charges and the food charges so it might be very lesser than other countries comparing to america or uk so that's the reason i have planned to apply for the singapore universities so the next question is what qualification you need to do that so when when i'm considering about my in my perspective actually i had a good results in my advanced level examination so what the advanced level examination you can do but the thing is you need to have a best results out of that other students when i when you considering about myself i have got three a's which there are only three subjects so i got three a's and the z score is 2.69 and the island rank was 81 something 81 yes 81 so it's a best results in that batch so i plan to apply for that so is this enough to apply for that university actually you need to have minimum 2a b results when you are considering about the three language a levels or 3a it's better to have a good results so you can easily get into the universities so after that you need to have some extracurricular activities otherwise it would be a little bit difficult to enter into that so what are the extracurricular activities i post when you are considering about myself i actually get a, a diploma certificate in keyboard and other than that i have already entered into sri lankan physical physical physics olympiad and i got a silver medal on that after that we have already had the training but due to the corona pandemic we couldn't able to attend the world physics olympiad so the other than that some co curricular activities and some unions i have participated in our school days so these are the things i have added in the list when they are asking about the co curricular activities so these also add some points some add some values to my application so the thing is it's not enough to have something in education so something better in education you actually you need to have something other than the education also you need to have on that education as well and the thing is you need to have something in sports or any kind of a musical or any curricular activity so leadership skill or scouting anything you need to have with that so otherwise it would be a little bit difficult to enter into those universities so the thing is the next thing is i have already wrote that question so what the steps you need to follow to do that so once you have planned to apply for any foreign universities which are having a best ranks actually you need to go through their websites whether they are what are the fields they are giving to the giving opportunities to the foreign students and what are the fees terms and what are the uh, activities and what are the hostel charges and you need to search all for that so when you when i when you're considering about myself i actually search for national university of singapore and nanyang technological universities once i found the application there is a button called application for foreign students you can easily get through that then there will be many instructions most probably the simple thing is they would ask the results of ielts exam and the results they are asking might be differ from universities to universities from countries to countries but actually i also uh, i also did that exam and i got 7.0 so it's very much uh, very much enough to enter into those universities so when you are considering about the application actually you need to pass those exams i.e delta so those, there are many examinations to prove your english academic site so after that you need to give your details properly and when you are considering about this so when you are 
adding some values uh, something like additional co-curricular activities you need to prove that you have already you have participated in that so when you are considering about myself so i have already told that i put that i have got silver medal i am a silver medalist in physics sri lankan physics olympiad but the thing is i don't have any certificates as i i have already mentioned there was a corona pandemic in 2020 so there won't be any ceremony so they didn't give a any certificate so what i had is i had a paper with uh, from a sig- with a signature of that direct uh, i think any uh, some important officials from that physics uh, physics department in columbia university so i scanned that and i sent with that uh, without sending the certificate actually i don't have the certificate at that time so i uh, managed to send with this one so so these are the things you need to when you are applying for that when you are giving some of your details you need to actually verify with some documents so when you are considering about my school activities i am a leader i am a president of mathematical union in our school as well as treasurer of tamil literary association so how i prove that is i don't have any certificates for that but i used to, i managed to get a character certificate from my school mentioning all those thing so i already participated in school bands too so i have got a character certificate and in that character certificate they have mentioned all these and there was a signature of principal so i uh, i scanned that document and i sent along with the application so when you are considering about yourself you need to actually you need to send anything to verify about that so the next thing is whether i get any scholarship from them actually the thing is i didn't get any scholarship from them so the thing uh, the reason is i have already mentioned it's a worldwide university worldwide best ranked university so when you are considering about yourself among other students the other competitors so it would be very much high competitive stages so it's very difficult to got those things so actually i asked her once uh, i get the admissions i asked whether i will have something uh, scholar some scholarships so actually they told that there is a very competition at that stage so it's very difficult to give you a scholarship actually i posed many thing many curricular activities but it's not enough so these are the things so when you are applying for the undergraduate programs in universities in the high ranked universities it would be uh, difficult to get a scholarship from those so the next thing is so what are the field i selected when i am applying for those universities when i am applied for the national university of singapore i applied for mechanical engineering the reason is actually i have a fond of um mechanical side so i applied for mechanical engineering so when you are considering about the nanyang technological university so i applied for aerospace engineering for the thing is i have get admission from these two um universities after applying for that universities so it's very difficult but if you try your best you can easily get that so uh, another thing is so the universities which are ranked above 100 so l- later than 100 you might get scholarships but above the 10 the world top 10 universities like that it's a little bit difficult to get scholarship from that so the, the next question is why didn't i get into those universities after i get that admissions so the thing is it's the when i'm applying for that so i having this corona pandemic so what i did was so it's a little bit difficult to fund for that program so actually i think in sri lankan rupees it's nearly 2 crores when you are considering about the singapore universities actually you can easily get the government grant from that which means you don't need to pay the whole amount if you have some qualification i have already told that so i have got some qualification co curricular activity so i have already sent that so they will check that the government will check from the singapore side and they will tell whether they are going to provide a grant the grant simply means is once you finish your exam once you finish your undergraduate studies you need to work for 3 years if you do so you are going to get a grant so grant simply means is what grant simply means is you don't need to pay the whole sum actually it's enough to pay the half money of that total course so when you are considering about that course in sri lankan universities sri lankan price actually in that time 2020 i think 
the total cost fees is nearly four crores I in both union states like that but uh, since I got the grant I needed to pay only two crores during every uh, or for the total cost so actually I don't need to pay the total two crores in one time but you need to pay in every semester so but I asked for any scholarship to fund me so but the thing is they have replied like this so I mentioned that it would be a little bit difficult as it's we are having a corona pandemic the works are not stable in that time so if I uh, got into that university my parents should fund me fund for me too and it might be a little bit difficult for them so I cancelled that but I told that uh, them so these are the reasons I am cancelling out so after my studies after my undergraduate studies in Sri Lankan universities I might ready to apply for their universities so since we are, they are Sri Lankan government is providing university education for their students for free of charge it's better to study here so this is the last uh, decision I made about those universities so some um, it's a little bit difficult to study with other students so uh, rather than difficult it would be uh, you will get something interesting also so so it would be a nice experience to you if you can study in those universities but I hopefully I'm planning to do my master's or PhD programs in those universities so I will get some exposure from their side so these are the things I need to share I like to share those things in this video and if you have any doubts please comment it below and in the next video we are going to give some details about what something uh, what steps you need to follow like those things if you like to watch the other videos don't forget to subscribe it thank you